What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game Duo here. Today is a special day, nonetheless, as we are continuing our Pokemon White 2 Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm excited as last episode I explained the rules and everything that's going on. Nothing too crazy, but I figure we're gonna have some fun in this Nuzlocke. I did a choose my starter, and there were 36 comments. Half of them by me because I responded to every single one of them. But still, that's a ton of support. And I appreciate all the support I got on the series. But with all that being said, the grind of 600 is real. So make sure it's up. But we're going to get into the starter choices. So let's get the game up first. That might help a little bit. Hopefully the volume is a little bit better and everything is a little bit better because I've experimented with this mic a little bit more so I kind of know a lot more of the mic's sensitivities and all the things that go wrong with it and so I've positioned it in a better spot as well as the fact that Jonas being who he is helped fix it but anyway we had Lampet, Wobbuffet, and Celio. So last place was Wobbuffet with the solo one vote and then it became between Celio and Lampet. And honestly, the race was tough throughout the entire time. Like, people were saying Lampet and Celio. It's like, I know you hate Celio, but Celio's good. Lampet's good because it's a fire type. <clears throat> Lampet's good because it's good to have a fire type at the beginning of the game. Um, I read your comments. I do. And, like, I literally repeated two of them right there for both different people. But, you know, Lampet game was strong. Celio game was strong. The Celio game was strong. So, in first place... With a total of six votes, was indeed Celio, the Ice type Pokemon, and I'm okay with that because I even admitted Celio is probably the best pick there because I don't know if I'm getting a Dust Stone or what's gonna go on. So we're gonna nickname it, and Naruto Shadow Six Six Eight recommended I name it Joy, and it is a female. This is one of Joy's favorite Pokemon. So it's like, why not name Joy after one of her favorite Pokemon? Like, I can't, I can't just not name it after one of her favorite Pokemon. And I know it is because I asked her kind of what her favorites are. And she's like, well, I know you don't like Walrein, but Walrein's one of my favorites. So maybe we can make it get to a Walrein. That will take a lot of staying alive, but we'll try. And I really don't care what Bianca has to say to me. And he was going to be like, I'm going to fight you now. And... Now, the Nuzlocke does not start until we get Pokeballs, which we can actually get, like, right after the Hue battle. Which would be great. And Hue is going to have the Wobbuffet. Okay. This might be beneficial. Moves are randomized, so this Wobbuffet probably has terrible movesets. So I'm so glad you guys didn't choose Wobbuffet for me. The other two I was whatever is clever on. Of course, this is my least favorite Pokemon, but I am okay with using my least favorite Pokemon if it is beneficial for the lock. That's kind of how I feel. And it is beneficial for the lock for me to use this thing. Karai, you are gonna whip me to shreds. Rip me to shreds, not whip me to shreds. Rip me to shreds. He's gonna be a problem this entire lock. As you can see, levels are up 15% because I can't do a lock without it being upped a little bit. We got Mist, Nature Power, and Free Shock. Definitely a weird. Oh, no, 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 no. Definitely a weird move set to start out with. For That's for sure. As we're going to look at our Pokemon, we're going to see kind of what we have going on. What is your ability? Summary. You have thick fat. Thick of fat. Okay. The thick of fat. I'm okay with the Thicka Kafat. Having the Thicka Kafat is really kind of a totally fine scenario. I'm turning it down. I I need to be able to hear myself talk, and I can't with these dang headphones. So, we got a lot of moves that take two turns. That's going to be our, our only issue here. Summon a Nature Power. Because I need... And, and that's going to be completely different every time, which is kind of the... Um, but I needed to play it safe. Oh my god, it's got mirror code already. <laughs> Wobbuffet's gonna be so much fun. It 
are wow i told you karai was gonna rip me to shreds i didn't think it was gonna rip me to shreds that bad oh my god <laughs> gosh this is gonna be great oh we can add celia to the layout now yay it's totally capturing my cursor ew our boy Celio has been added to the layout. Oh my god. We got ripped apart. Way more than I would have expected to be ripped apart, honestly. I needed not to capture my cursor. Hold on. I'm gonna fix that real quickly because that's gonna be That's gonna annoy the crap out of me. Because I Oh, yeah. There we go. Now it will not capture my cursor. <laughs> Thank goodness. Let's go inside. Let me teach you all the stuff at the Pokemon Center. Okay. I'm fine with that, Bianca. You can teach me whatever you need to teach me, my girl. You can teach me whatever's needed. I'm so glad I have fastest text on so I don't actually have to listen to anything you have to say. Woo! Because I... Jonas literally... we Okay, so we did Pokemon Black and Jonas died twice. It was kind of sad. I was like, dang it, Jonas. Can you just actually live so that I could actually make it somewhere? Oh my god, she gives us 10 Pokeballs. See, okay, so we get more Pokeballs but less money so it all kind of equals out anyway. Uh, 1,800, which will allow us to... Yeah. We'll have 20. I should have just bought... I like how I bought nine. Like, I was like, oh, I should probably buy only nine so that I could, like, actually, you know, have money for four potions. And then your boy's like, if you would have bought one more, if you would have bought one more, you would have gotten an extra one for free. But that's okay, John. You don't have to get anything for free. Also, that's a gem, I think, right there, right? To my knowledge... Oh, great. We got the running shoes already. Mom's a legend. And you don't have a dad in the game, but if you had a dad, dad would be a legend, too. Um, Bianca. Oh, my gosh. The Unova region. It's flipped now because you're starting on the other side. Thanks. Thanks for the knowledge. I appreciate that knowledge. Also, for a game that's supposed to centralize in America, saying Bon Voyage just does not make sense. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. Bon Voyage. It's like, oh, okay. Oh. This girl gets. Well, I regret my decision to worry about potions. Because apparently I didn't need to. Let me teach you how to catch a Pokemon. I don't care. Although, I kind of should care because catching a Pokemon is important. I did not randomize the catching tutorial, so this is going to be boring as all heck. I'm sorry. Oh, I can speed it up. It's going to be laggy for a second, but it's going to be faster. So. Because I really don't care about this catching tutorial. I don't use speed up often. Um, especially in Desume ROMs. Because speed up is trash in Desume ROMs. But I am skipping that. Because I don't want to really ruin the episode with that. We're, I'm trying to keep my episode lengths to about 20 to 25 minutes. That's kind of going to be the sweet spot. Um, unless I feel like... I've got an important battle coming up or something, but who knows? But that's the goal. Between 20 and 25 minutes, unless I'm in the middle of a battle. As a route one. Oh, my encounter before the Pokeball is a sock. We have Pokeballs now, though. So this is going to be a little bit annoying. I'm gonna need your power, though. Psy Shock? Wow, okay. Oh, it turned into Seed Bomb. I should be paying attention to that stuff. We got potions, though. It's got Psy Shock and Dark Pulse. What an odd set of moves to start out. Okay. Bag, Pokeball. That is a very odd set of moves to start out. Dark Pulse and Psy... I think it was Psy Strike. Very odd. Ah! It shook three times, so we would have had it. Okay, Dark Pulse is gonna... I mean, it... You know, it's one of those that it scares me, but it 
doesn't scare me, you know, because like it would I think it would scare me a bit more if I saw a fighting type move come out right now. <laughs> I would say that and that would happen. That's that's welcome to the gamer duo where stuff that would happen like that and like I can call the shots now because I absolutely I know that that's a thing that would happen. It's Psy Shock. Okay. Psy Shock does absolutely nothing, so that's fine. Circle Throw won't kill us because it does 14 damage. Uh, probably like 14 to 18 is what I would rec what I would assume. I need this to catch. Come on, I need you. I need you. I need you. Sock, I need you. Force Palm, that's gonna... I don't like that. That does 14 damage as well. Sock is a good Pokemon. Sock probably had Sturdy. A crit kills Joy. And I think Joy is actually slower. This is why I hate Walrein. Now you guys know why I hate Walrein to save my life. Like, I can't trust it. This, I know this is Celio, but I can never trust it. I don't, I, I'm not faster. I'm going to kill this thing though, unfortunately. As much as that's a good counterbalance for the team, I can't risk anything. So I'm going to Hydro Cannon this thing. Okay, we were slower. I did make the right decision. We're going to Hydro Cannon and kill this thing. Unfortunately, but we have to. Why didn't we get experience? Uh huh. We didn't get experience. Uh. Yeah, we saw, we did not get any experience. Joy did not faint. Cause it, what happened? Cause Joy would have been a higher level anyway. I'm going to double check this, and then I might have to fix it. There's a good chance I'm going to have to fix this. Oh, Nine Tails would have been so nice. That would have been great. Okay. But it's great to check, because I don't think I gained any experience. Yeah. And then it cuts out the entire experience. Yeah? Okay. We're going to cut here. I'm going to come back. Be at, like, whatever level I was supposed to be. Crap. That's fun. Okay. We're going to figure this out. And we'll be right back. Okay. We out here. We're back. Um, and I say that we're back. Oh, my God. That took way, for, way too long. To even just fix, to say the least. Like, I need to turn down the monitor. Holy cow. Like, I was heck of spiking. Um, this is, this is perfectly fine. Uh, but still, we're back. Thank God. That EXP patch took me forever to find a ROM that's back to normal. So, the evolutions are back. Everything is back. We're fine and handy. I blame this all on Celio. I blame it all on Celio. Whenever Celio is in something, it just is the destroyer of life. So, I am turning down a couple things, making sure that I have a better audio, because I'm talking quite loud today. 
Not gonna lie. <laughs> so I'm adjusting due to that. But I did do the calcs, and we for sure, guaranteed, lived that hit from the mine. And so Joy is definitely not dead. Because level 9, which really would be like level 10, is a big difference. That's double the level we definitely would have lived. But you might hear some little reworks and stuff because I didn't get quite back to where I was. Because, I mean, everything's all different. We wouldn't have been fighting a sock, but that sock definitely would have given us close to another level, if not another level. So, yeah. So, for sure, we're good. We're fine and dandy. One thing I will say, though, is I'm hyped for this series and hyped for everything that's going to go on in this series as, you know, like I said, I want to keep it up to, like, 20 to 30 minutes. And I know that that first section was about 13 so, I might be able to get this and the next episode done before I go to work. Yeah. So, we're not streaming today, obviously, because this episode's going out. But, it was either record or stream. Record or stream, record or stream. I streamed last night. I had a couple times last night. So, I had a couple, a little bit of fun doing that. So, I thought it would be a better productive use of my time to focus on some other things today. Which is totally fine. But yeah, so this route's going to be completely different. But even if this route is going to be completely different, we cannot get an encounter because we already lost our sock here. If we would have caught it, I would have genned him in before the start of this section. But he did die. Another thing is Joy's moves at is completely different, and I will fix that as well. I don't want any weird continuity issues either. So for this episode... Joy will have some weird continuity issues, and I'll get what and I'll repack whatever items there. But luckily, it wasn't too much of a deal, so we're fine right now. Hey there, trainer. My name is Alda. I'm a trainer with a keen interest in the world. One of my goals is to tell people how wonderful it is to walk toward the future together with Pokemon. And you are? Huh. So you're John from Asperia City. Gotta look over you. See what everything's over. Your Celio is looking fine, but you're not exactly a seasoned trainer yet. Indeed, I will train you. Follow me. I don't really want to follow you. Flow of Sassy Town. Whoop, whoop de doo We gotta love that Flow of Sassy Town. But yeah, so because our moves are different, because I had to re-randomize a completely different ROM. So that's why. Um, but I don't know. I feel like our team is... It, it definitely needs to build. And it starts today. It definitely starts with today. And how the team is going to be. There's a lot of unknown variables that... I'm clearly going to be nervous about. As our first trainer battle. We never even got to get to the trainer battle. Before we realized the experience was messed up. Props to me for actually realizing that, because your boy doesn't realize stuff like that. Our first trainer has a Mon that's super effective against Tropius. Or against Celio. But luckily, Celio does have Icy Wind, which before she had Free Shock, which is actually technically a better move anyway. But bye, Tropius. I am. See, this is where Celio is actually a good Pokemon, because Celio kind of. I don't want to say it counterbalances itself, but it kind of helps its weaknesses out because it's not as, like, overpowered. It's not as, like... Because you look at it and you're like, oh, it's a Celio. But it's also an Ice type, which helps it out significantly. Although, we are gaining so many levels. When does, this thing evolves at level 44, though. So, like, I don't think we're going to get a Celio any... Or a Wall Rain anytime soon. You little butt! You have the evolved form of my other starter choice. But, you know, that would have been a little bit of a pain if we had Lampet, though. So, Celio proven it's worth again. Water Pledge, die. But this little butt had the uh, fully evolved version instantaneously. Because, of course, you did. Joy is already racking up the levels. Joy is already almost the level of this next, the first gym. I think the first gym is level 16. We got a white herb. That's fine, actually. But, 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 we're just running into all the trainers. 
That's fine. This is a new route, though, so I need to get an encounter. Hopefully, it's a good encounter, uh, but something that's catchable. Like, Sock was a great Pokemon. I was actually very happy with Sock, but then we didn't catch it, so that's unfortunate. But, Water Pledge. Goodbye. Oh, wow. This is going to do absolutely Like, five damage, five damage, five. That's my guess. Four. I was pretty close. See, Joy, I know what Ty, I know. I know you. I know you. I know you. I also need to change Joy to a female because it was a female before. And our encounter on this route is going to be a... A Mantine. Another water type, which is a little unfortunate, but it is something we should be able to catch. So I am going to glare it first, see what it does, because Joy actually has glare this time. So I might as well take advantage of it now. It's got Aqua Tail. Let's see. I have 22 Pokeballs. We can do this. We can do this, Joy, can't we? We can catch, we can catch our Mantine. Apparently not. That did not shake at all. Uh, okay then. That's that's a little nerve wracking for sure. That it's not shaking. That is very nerve wracking. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm going to hit it with Water Pledge. That's my best option right now. It should live. It has a ridiculously high special. Awesome. And you use Rain Dance. Of course you did. <laughs> you had to use the move that would prevent me from being able to use Water Pledge again. Because that's going to do 1.5 times more damage. That's going to be risking a crit. Whereas before, it would not be. So, we got to hope for goodness that this happens. Okay. One. Two. Two. Three. Ah! Sock did the same BS to us, too. Razor Shell should not do anything. Okay. Except for it's going to lower our defense. That is okay with me. That is fine and dandy. I know the rain is still up, so I do not want to mess with it. Um, Ice-type moves will be okay, but it's also neutral. So, neutral plus stab. It's going to be a little bit more of an issue. Um... And it's, like, it's more base power, too. Um, so it's actually... Ha! Ah, stop lowering my defense! I'm gonna have to go for Water Pledge. Hands up in the air. No crit, please. Yes! Sorry for the loud clap in the microphone. I forget I have a microphone right here. Because before, when I clapped, it was very quiet. But just, bam, clap into the microphone. Even harder is what's something... That's somebody else would say, and I already know who would say it. But still. <laughs> I can't, yeah. Sometimes my brain forgets that I kind of wanted to go more professional in 2020 and be more high, be more active, have fun, which is what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, you are at like one HP. Just go in the ball, please. I would appreciate it big time because. We got this, we got another encounter, and we're ending the episode. Like, please. Are we... I cannot stand a Celio only run, okay? Mantine, I will not be able to stand a Celio only run. Get in the ball, okay? Okay? Do you hear me? Get in the ball. Thank you. Oh, I don't know what I would have done with Facilio only for another episode. Whoo! Anyway, we got Mantine, the water flying type. We're going to name this Dario. Dario did comment in the last episode. So, I know, like, most of the people that commented. So, Dario the Montine. This guy doesn't let you do anything. Can't go that way. I bought potions for this exact scenario, which is good on me for doing, surprisingly. Doing something good. 
potion use. Yeah, it was on one HP and paralyzed, and I still could not manage to catch it. That is how terrible my catching is. My encounter in the Floesi Ranch is nothing special. That's fine. It's on my reef. It's a Sparky Boy. Now, I can't paralyze the Sparky Boy, which is a little unfortunate. Actually, wait. Can I? I'm using Glare. We'll find out. I can. Glare can paralyze electric types. Okay, then. Uh, that's great. You got Fusion Bolt already. This Mareep already, like, um, bro, I got you. Um, I'm gonna... I don't know what I want to do. I'm gonna look at our stats here. 20 attack, 26 special. No, 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 no. Don't swap. 50 and 55. I can take another fusion bolt. So I'm going to throw a Pokeball and see where we're at. I think we'll actually be in a pretty good spot. It is a Mareep. Like, if I'm not in a good spot with a Mareep, that'll scare the crap out of me. I made the right play. Mareep was added to the Pokedex. And... I cannot name a Mareep after anybody else than the person who got me into the community. Our boy XV Sparks. I'm going to name this Sparks for you, my dude. Sparks was an amazing person back... Like, I mean, he still is. I was going to say back in 2019, and that was not going to work. An amazing person. He saw my channel, and he's like, I've got a community for you. And I was like, okay, weird, interesting. I don't know what you're talking about. But... He loved the energy that was in my videos and everything else. And he brought me to the community where Trilink eventually started with Culpa and Karai. And it really, he's the one that started all these memories and like lifted me up into the community, which is amazing. So anytime I get a Mareep, unless it's an extreme randomizer when I don't know if it's going to be an Aphros, it'll always be named Sparks. I can't forget Sparks. He propelled this. He made this happen. So, uh, big thank you to you. Um, anyway, I think this is the perfect spot to end today's video. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.